What's up guys, Jorgen here. Today we're going to talk about some features and tips on HTC U Ultra, HTC's latest flagship. So with no further delay, let's jump into it. And we start with the second screen that U Ultra have. Here you find shortcuts for contacts and software and other useful info as calendar. Really nice to have, but uh, maybe you want them in another order or you want to show less. The good thing here is you can change that. You just go to settings and then you scroll down to secondary display. Here can you just tap on the text. Quite easy to miss that. You can, here can you change the order of what's displayed by just uh, dragging them up and down. And if there is something you don't want to show, you just untap that. And this is for when uh, the main screen is on. You can do the same for when the main screen is off. Just go back one step and tap here. One thing that you often want to access fast is the camera. And there's two ways here. Uh, let's jump into settings and then you go to display. Here you go to the bottom and check press power button twice for camera. And then you go to motion launch gestures. Here do you check the swipe down twice to open camera. Then you have two ways to access the camera fast. And that can be really useful to have sometimes. Boost Plus is a software that comes with a phone for optimizing the memory. But there is a good safety function in the app for locking apps. Quite good if you have children or other using your phone. In app you go to lock apps. The first time you have a set of pattern and then you can unlock it with a pattern or use the fingerprint scanner. Then you can lock apps that you want to secure. When you don't start the app you locked, you have to open it with a pattern or a fingerprint scanner. So a really good safety feature here for securing your phone. If you're one of those who want to have room for icons and like them smaller on the screen, can you resize items so to get smaller? Then you go to settings and display. Then you go down to display size. Here can you make things bigger or smaller. Let's try smaller here. And then you press the home key. Then their icons are updated to a smaller size here. But you can have them bigger too. It's all about taste here. S and space. As you can have less icons on the biggest size. And now we're going to be talking about a screen, so do we have the navigation buttons? Default do they turn off quite fast if you don't use them. And I didn't like that, so I didn't find that you can have them always on, so you easily can find them. Then you go to settings and then to display. Hmm, feels like we've been here before. Well, down here again. Then you go to navigation button backlight. Set it to always on when the screen is on. Then you have them always there, so you can easily find them when you need to go back and things like that. This was some of the features and tips that I found good to know, and I hope you have a use for some of them. And if you liked the video, press the like button, and if you want to see more, subscribe, but for now, over and out.